If you've ever received a PDF from school, work, or clients, and you needed to edit text, add signatures, fill forms, convert files or compress documents, PDF Element makes the whole process super simple. And the best part? Everything works with just a few taps, no complicated tools, and no learning curve. In today's video, I'm going to show you the easiest and fastest way to edit any PDF using PDF Element, whether you're using an iPhone, iPad, or computer. So let's get started. First, download PDF Element from the App Store. Just search PDF Element on App Store. I'll also place a direct link in the description. Once installed, open the app and you'll see a clean interface with your recent files, Cloud Sync, and all your editing tools. PDF Element is built to work wherever you are, whether it's on your desktop, phone, or directly from your web browser. Everything stays connected through your Wondershare account, so you can start a document on your Mac and continue editing on your iPad or iPhone seamlessly. Now I will show you how PDF Element works when editing PDFs on my iPad. Here, I have a scanned research paper, meaning this file is just an image. Normally, you can't highlight, copy text, or edit anything from a scanned document, but with PDFElement's OCR technology, that's not a problem. I'll open the scanned PDF tab on OCR and PDF Element, instantly converts the entire page into editable, selectable text. Just like that, this scanned image becomes a real digital document I can work with. Now that it's editable, I can start making changes. I can edit the text, correct mistakes, or even insert images to complete my notes. Now I can tap on any text area in the PDF and instantly the app switches into edit mode. From here, I can fix typos or spelling mistakes, remove unwanted sentences or paragraphs, add new text anywhere on the page, and even adjust the font, size, and color to match the original style. Everything looks clean and seamless, it feels like I'm editing a normal document, but this is still a PDF. This is extremely useful when you receive lecture slides with errors, need to update old study notes, or want to customize documents for assignments or presentations. Next, now you can add images into your PDF. And this is super useful for students and anyone creating reports, assignments, or study notes. Inside PDF Element, I'll tap the Insert Image tool, and from here I can choose any photo from my gallery. Maybe a diagram from my textbook, a chart from my lecture slides, or even a picture I just took with my iPhone camera. Once the image is inserted, I can resize it, move it anywhere on the page, or rotate it to fit perfectly with the rest of the content. It blends naturally into the PDF so it looks clean and professional. Now let's move on to one of the most important features for students, markup, and annotation. PDF Element gives you a complete set of tools to make your PDFs more interactive, organized, and easy to study from. I can grab the highlighter and mark important sentences or formulas. This is perfect for reviewing textbooks, lecture slides, or research papers. Next, I can use the underline tool to emphasize keywords or definitions. It keeps everything clean and structured, just like annotating a real book, but digital. Then we also have sticky notes. I can tap anywhere on the page and add a reminder, explanation, or quick summary. This helps a lot when you're preparing for exams or organizing research materials. And if you're using an Apple Pencil, PDF Element becomes even more powerful. You can handwrite directly on the PDF circle diagrams, draw arrows, add formulas, or write comments in the margins. It feels natural, smooth, and responsive. With these markup and annotation tools, your PDFs become interactive study materials clean, organized, and easy to understand when you review them later. Now let's take things to the next level. PDF Element also comes with built-in AI tools, and this is where your productivity really improved. Instead of manually reading or rewriting everything, PDF Element's AI helps you understand and work with your PDFs much faster. Inside the AI menu, you'll find several smart commands, such as summarize, translate, explain, rewrite, and grammar check. Using it is super simple. All you need to do is highlight the text and then select the AI tool you want to use. For example, here I'll highlight a paragraph from this research paper and choose Summarizes. PDF Element instantly creates a clean, easy to read summary based on the text I selected. This is really helpful if you're studying long chapters, reviewing literature, or trying to understand complex content quickly. You can copy and replace it into your PDF. And on the right side, there's AI Chat, which works like a smart assistant for your file. You can ask the AI anything you need about the PDF, such as 
What is the conclusion of this section? Explain this theory in simple terms or create study notes based on this chapter. Everything happens inside PDF element and get results instantly. It's like having your own personal AI tutor built right into your PDF. Next, let's talk about one of my favorite features conversion and sharing. PDF element lets you convert PDFs into different formats in just a few taps. You can export your document as Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Image, and even convert those file types back into PDF. It's super helpful when you're working with class notes, spreadsheets, or scanned documents that need editing in another format. And when it comes to sharing, PDF Element gives you multiple options. You can share your PDFs directly via link, screenshot, or email, so your classmates or teachers can access them instantly. No need for printing, no messy attachments, everything stays digital, clean, and well-organized. So that's how you can edit PDFs like a pro with AI using PDF Element on your iPhone or iPad. From editing text, adding images, annotating using OCR all the way to AI summaries, and study help PDF Element really makes your workflow faster, smarter, and completely paperless. If you want to try it yourself, you can download PDF Element using the link in the description below. It's available on iPhone, iPad, desktop, and even the web, so your documents stay synced wherever you go. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.